Hello YouTube and welcome back to the XWF Command Center for another episode of XWF Mayhem. And kicking off tonight's show, we got two people who have been in a who have been embroiled in a vicious rivalry over on Riot Girls Wrestling. Kicking us off in a Falls Count Anywhere match, we got Saturn, the current reigning and defending RGW United States Champion, taking on the woman that she dethroned for that championship, the Beast Queen. And then in our next match, we got... Uh, we got uh, Bad Company taking on TWFS in Tornado Tag Team action. And then we get right in to our rivalry action. KSI versus Beastmaster. Brandon Collins versus Bullfrog. Grim versus Brad Martin. And then after that, we got Glenn Dumont taking on Macho T in Falls Count Anywhere action. And then coming up, we got my, Mr. Groff, the XWF Hardcore World Champion, taking on Aiden Black once again, but this time in the demonic no escape steel cage match. We saw this last Sunday when Claire Groff took on Pandy. In that demonic structure, the only way to win in this cage is by knockout. No pinfall, no submission, no escape the cage. You gotta knock your opponent out. We got two demonic entities taking on each other in the most demonic structure here in the Extreme Wrestling Federation. So that is going to be one hell of a matchup here tonight. And in our main event, we got Gravity Well taking on Vulgar the Clown in rivalry action. But let's get to our first match of the evening. Saturn versus Beast Queen. Let's get down to the ring and get this, this uh, show underway. This is XWF Mayhem. Let's get this uh, <laughs> let's get this show underway and get down to the ring. Bruh. Let's go. All right, we are in the arena. We are in the XWF Dome. And now here comes the RGW Women's United States Champion. This is Saturn. She is a member of the Carnival of Carnage. And she is also the woman who dethroned the Beast Queen for that championship looking to bring her rivalry with the Beast Queen up to the main roster of the Extreme Wrestling Federation And the thing is, for a down-ass juggalette, like, <laughs> why would she have this as her theme song? Well, whatever. Let's get on, get moving to our next opponent. This is the former RGW Women's United States Champion. From Helsinki, Finland, the Beast Queen. <laughs> she is definitely making her 
presence be felt. Uh. Oh, we are dropping frames. <laughs> oh, here she is. And let's get down, get her down to the ring. Let's get this matchup underway. <laughs> All right, both these women are in the ring. Referee, ring the bell. Referee Anita Schlong is contesting this opening contest. She is the uh, officiating the opening contest. That is what I was looking for. <laughs> and Beast Queen has Saturn up. Oh, and he hits her with the back, back stunner right away. And going for the stump puller. Oh, my God. Beast Queen not taking that defeat lying down. She definitely wants to get back in. In contention for that the United States Championship but here's the thing on this show she could also look to be in contention for the XWF hardcore women's championship and now Beast Queen going to the top rope telling Saturn to get up oh 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 and takes her down. Saturn almost running towards her, but uh, we got a pinfall. But that only led to a one count. Now Beast Queen continuing to lay in on her opponent. But here's the thing. like She could definitely be in contention here tonight for the XWF Hardcore Women's Championship, but she's more or less focused on getting revenge from Saturn because Saturn is the one who defeated her for the belt that she is currently wearing. And I'm pretty sure Saturn is focused on getting that title back ahead of possibly going for another one. But Saturn definitely... Striking Beast Queen in the back with those forearms. Now she's picking her up, showing off her strength with that deadlift military press. Oh my god, giving a few pumps before she just drops her ace first on the mat. Oh, has her up again. Oh! Oh my god, looking to work over the back. Now picking her back up again. Uh, as, oh, oh, suplex. Pump handle suplex, like a kip up from Beast Queen. As a oh, you're a noggy. Sends her down to the mat. Now going for the cover. One. Still only getting a one count, but Saturn is starting to sustain some damage. Oh my god, side slam, that, and now Saturn rolls out, Saturn comes back in, tie up, oh, and a pendulum backbreaker for the Beast Queen, another tie up, oh, oh my god, a pendulum backbreaker stretch from Saturn, now Saturn going for the cover here, what? Oh my god, only one. So, like, they're, they're just shoot kicking out of everything. Oh, Saturn looking to go to the high red district. Double! Oh! Beast Queen just hit her. Kick to the fa boot to the face. Yeah, this is Falls Count anywhere. Oh my god, Dragon Sleeper locked in on the champ! Oh my god! Is she going to hold on or will she submit? And Saturn fighting her way out of it. She refuses to give up. Oh, no. Oh, no. As her up. Spinning her up. Oh, Santa Powerball going for the cover. One, two. And Beast Queen.
Queen kicks out. These two women have been through a lot. And it's going to take a lot to put either one of these two down. And Saturn just pulling out a sledgehammer. Oh my god. She's looking to put her deck. Oh, she dropped it. Oh, tossing her. Now she picks up the sledgehammer once again. Oh my god. Now, oh, Beast Queen has her up. Oh, oh kill switch. That was right on the sledgehammer. One, two, three. And the Beast Queen picks up the win over her vicious rival from R Riot Girls Wrestling. Oh, wow. Yeah, that win was definitely huge for the Beast Queen. Definitely on the right track to getting back that Women's United States Championship. Now, she's just left staring back at the ring with her rival crumpled in a bloody heap. Actually, I don't know if she is bloody, but she's left in a heap after literally taking that uh, kill switch onto the head of that sledgehammer. So, yeah, she might need to... Uh, go to the back and get checked out we don't know about her condition yet maybe we might give an update on it but moving on we got a tornado tag team matchup between bad company landscaper and kurt bale and they are taking on twfs members kevin scampoli and ryan van vliet we definitely got number one contender implications on the line in this matchup. And with us edging closer to XWF Aftershock, one of these two teams could lay claim to that number one contendership. So let's get down to the ring and get this Tornado Tag Team matchup underway. And I'm pretty, and I know the bringers bear are definitely going to be eyeing this matchup. But coming down to the ring first, we got Kurt Bale and Lance Scaper. They are known as Bad Company. Put him up. Too sweet. Oh, uh, yeah. Now it's time for them to come down to the ring for this one. This tornado tag team matchup. Bad Company has been on a little bit of a losing skid. So here's the thing, if uh, TWFS want to pick up a win, this might be a team that they can, pick, can defeat for those champion, for the, to get in contention for those championships. But here's the thing, like uh, Kurt Bale and Landscaper are definitely not too keen on drop tip picking up another L especially not against these two and going into this match TWFS are the current ranked number one contenders so yeah this would be a huge victory for Bad Company if they could defeat 
Kevin Scampoli and Ryan Van Vliet in this matchup. Can Bad Company get it together and pick up a victory? And this might be the biggest victory of their career because it'll move them up the rankings. And now here they go. They're going to square off in the middle of the ring. Oh, here we go. Nice head scissor takedown from uh, Kurt Bale. Landscaper working over the big man, Ryan Van Vliet. Oh! That was... Oh, we got a painful What? Oh, Kevin Scampoli knew how to get out of that one easy. Of course, one thing, like, uh, Kevin Scampoli is no stranger to a fight because he is the Bare Nuggle Fight Club champion. And he just hit Kurt Bale with a sit-out pile driver, and he's going for the cover. Well, only a one count. Like, uh, this match ain't going to end this early. Oh, as a, oh, Brain Buster from Kevin Scampoli! Ryan Van Vliet going right after the landscaper. Oh! Knees to the side! Oh! Now, Kevin Scampoli and Kurt Bale going, uh, going to work on the outside of the ring. While Vleeties and Landscaper continuing to fight on the inside of the ring. Snake Eyes from Vleeties. Now Kevin Scampoli continuing to work over Kurt Bale. Oh my god, Needy T. Holy shit. Oh, Hur Hur Hurricane Rana from Landscaper. Oh, here we go. We got a tie up. No! Oh, Landscaper fighting back against Ryan Van Vliet. Oh my god! <gasps> Die! Oh my god! That was right on the floor. With that inch worth of padding. Now Kurt Bale trying to fight back. Now Landscaper taking full control on Ryan Van Vliet. Now, Kurt Bale continuing to fight back. He tosses Kevin Scampoli back into the ring. Lance Scaper hitting a leg drop on Vleeties. Now, all four men are back in the ring. Another Hurricane Rana taking down Kevin Scampoli. Kevin Scampoli staying in it. Now he's using some of that bare knuckle action. We got a pinfall. Oh! Oh! He just used a rail spike! We got a cover! Oh, it is broken up by Landscaper. Oh, Selena Del Sol on Kevin Scampoli going for the cover! One, two, it is broken up by Vleeties. Vleeties definitely... Oh, now Vleeties going for the cover. It is broken up by Kurt Bale. Oh, oh, that was reversed. We got so much action, it's tough call here. Even though I'm calling this live on a 55-inch television back in the XWF Command Center. Oh, how's him up? Power bomb in the middle of the ring! Oh, now Vleeti's going back to work on Landscaper. Oh my god, he's working on the leg... Oh my god. Kurt Bale is in a world of pain. Oh my god. Oh! oh! Gets Paul Driver on Landscaper! Tie up! Irish Whip off the ropes! Oh, Kurt Bale going to fly! Oh! Landscaper ducking that suicide dive. Hey! Hey, it was rightfully showboating there because he just said, like, F you, I'm going to duck that suicide dive. Oh, and I think, oh yeah, Kevin Scampoli just got busted open. Oh no, oh no! Another dead a Landscaper on the outside. Actually, Landscaper take the dead eye this time. Kurt Bale took the first one. Kevin Scampoli tossed it to the announce table. 
Oh my god. I think that was a super kick from Kurt Bale. Now Kurt Bale go for the cover! One! Two! Oh, Kevin Scampoli tossed into... Make me forced to headbang off the announce table. Kurt Bale going to the top! Oh! oh! Arm drag takedown! Oh, yeah, Kevin Scampoli in trouble. Oh, oh! Into an arm bar! Yeah, the arm bar cinched in on Kevin Scampoli. Now Kevin gets out of it. Oh! Now Kevin Scampoli. Oh! Brain buster to Lance Scaper. Now Kevin goes for the cover. One! Two! And Lance Scaper kicks out. This match is staying alive. Oh, DDT in C. Now Lance rolls out, avoiding the pin, but hits a spine buster. Yeah, Kevin Scampoli calling Lance a loser. Like, what the hell? This ain't elementary school. This is professional wrestling. Uh-oh. Oh! And a rail spike! Hey, at least keeping, uh... Hey, like the person who uh, originally did that move here in the XWF may not be around, but, uh... Hey! Oh, Brain Buster! Suicide died from Landscaper! We got a battle on the outside of the ring right now! Uh, a little showboating from Vleeties. Uh... Driving and now Vleeties driving that knee into the side. Kurt Bale tossed in. Now Vleeties going in after him. Oh. oh, oh, oh! Kick to the midsection. Has him up. Sitting on the run. Into the center. Power bomb. Now he's going for the cover. One, two. Oh, landscaper saving the match. Oh. Selena Del Sol! Now Vleeties saving the match! Now Vleeties go behind. Oh! oh now Vleeties continuing the punishment on Landscaper. Now he's going for the cover! What? And it's saved by Kurt Bale! Holy shit. Neither of these teams want to take. Oh my god! Black man! Going for the cover! One, two, three! And TWFS pick up the victory! Now Kevin Scampoli just picking up Kurt Bill's head and just cursing him out. And TWFS continue their run as number one contenders. Marking saying that they will be the ones to defeat the bringers of despair for the hardcore tag team championships <clears throat> but with that being said we must move on to our next matchup first match of rivalry action we got KSI versus Beastmaster Jr Ooh, entrance distraction and attack. Oh, here we go. Let's get down to the ring and get this rival reaction underway. <laughs> Beastmaster and KSI. Oh, he's coming from the crowd! Uh, oh, from behind! Wow. Wow, Beastmaster chose to come out of the crowd and, it's, and attack KSI from behind. Oh, KSI has to keep using his uh, speed if he wants to defeat this big man. 
Got to use your speed. Maybe try to chop down the vertical base as well. But here's the thing, like, uh, oh, oh, Hurricane Rana from KSI taking down the Beastmaster Jr. Oh, and that stiff right. Oh my God. And we all know, like, uh, KSI can throw a right hook, right hook. But then again, KSI has to keep uh, throwing those rights. Oh, and he's continuing to hit, punch him in the face with those rights. And a left jab to the midsection. Definitely using his boxing style. But here's the thing, like, Beastmaster Jr. is an all-around all combat artist. Like, here's the thing, like, having, like, a boxer going against a combat artist is not boxing rules. Yeah, the combat artist is definitely making a fool out of KSI. Fisherman Buster Suplex. But he had a kip up from KSI. But he gets Irish whipped into the corner. Uh. Oh my god, just dri driven him face first into the turnbuckle. Now working over the arm. Good thing he only delivers jabs with that left hand, left arm. Oh, choke slam! Oh my god! Now he's going ground and pound on Beastmaster Jr. And now a forearm to the back. But then again, like, now we got the cover. One, only a one count, but uh, Beastmaster Jr. continuing powering his way out of that. Now he's hitting him with those rights and left. Kick to the midsection. Has him up. Ooh, Oshi Garoshi. They don't teach that in boxing school. Oh, no. Like, you don't want to showboat. They're like, yeah, this, this ain't going to end well. Especially against a man who uh, over over powers you and it go behind into a German suplex. Oh, going right for the hamstring. Beastmaster Junior in firm control right now, but he also had the jump start where he distracted him with his entrance. KSI thought he was going to come down down through the entrance uh, way. But he came out through the crowd. But he hit KSI with that knee strike. Oh my god! And he just KO'd him with that one stiff right. Like he just Logan Pauled KSI. One, two. And KSI kick powers out at two. Like, KSI just got Logan pulled and almost pinned. Oh! Like, Beastmaster going to the high rent district, and it pays off. Now he's tossing KSI back in the ring. Yeah, there we go. Now the action is returning to the ring. Oh! Ooh! Of the suplex city, bitch! Oh, sweep the leg! That is that Cobra Kai technique. Uh, now, K oh yeah, now KSI going for the cover. What? Oh, that was a shoot kick out from Beastmaster Junior. Uh, oh, vicious clothesline from KSI. Oh. Oh, knee to the midsection. KSI going to the middle. Oh, that's the key of uh, the high rent district not paying off. Uh. Oh, uh. oh, German suplex after a barrage of strikes from Beastmaster Junior. Oh my God. 
Hey, you look hungry. How about a knuckle sandwich, KSI? Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, nice. T-Pone suplex. Oh. oh. Beastmaster getting Logan Paul. One. Two. Oh. Oh. Another clothesline. Yeah, KSI is saying he's number one. Oh! We got rights! Oh! Oh! And it's reversed! Into an arm drag. KSI not giving up here. Irish whip into the corner. Ooh. Now he's just that. I don't know. Kelly. Beastmaster Jr. just continuing to go in on him. Alley oop, but now going for the cover. One, two, three. And that's it. We had a lot of hard hitting action, and it in, ends with an alley oop bomb. Heavy hitting match with a weak finish, but uh, you would expect that this match would have a more explosive finish but whatever Beastmaster Jr. continuing his dominance and now just showing off with the Orton pose there we go there's your winner Beastmaster Jr. but we must move on to our next matchup. There we go. Brandon Collins taking on Bullfrog. Two more vicious rivals taking each other on in one-on-one -on -one action. Let's get down to the ring and get this. Actually, it's uh, Brandon Collins versus Rad Dad Radley Belmont. But anyway, let's get this matchup on down to the ring. And let's get underway. Brandon Collins taking on the Rad Dad. One half of the Stepdads. Longest reigning GTS Intercontinental Champion. Current GTS Workhorse Double Champion. Well, here's the thing. You already know his accolades. I pretty much say it them every time he has a matchup. But here's the thing. Brandon Collins making his way down to the ring first for this one-on-one -on -one matchup. <laughs> here's the thing. Like, if you're... Uh, as talented as this man, of course you're going to be on a fucking high horse. Comes with the fucking territory. Here we go. Let's get this matchup underway. Brandon Collins is in the ring. Now let's get his opponent out here and get this matchup underway. But like I said, here comes the Rad Dad Radley Belmont. One half of the stepdads. You know the rest. I don't have to say it. Say it every time he has a match. But here's the thing, like this guy does have a list of accolades in his professional wrestling career. He 
All right, referee, ring the bell. Referee BBD is the will be officially officiating this matchup. Here we go. Rad Dad showing off. But uh, Brandon Collins. Yeah, like Rad Dad avoiding that one, but Brandon Collins didn't avoid that clothesline. Now Rad Dad just taking it to him. And hitting him with the broski boot. Woo, woo, woo. And now go for the Yeah, only a one count. You're going to have to do a lot more to put this guy away. Oh! Catapult into a forearm. That connected. Oh, oh code breaker. Now we got another tie up. And, oh, knee strike to the face. Take down, and now just spinning her. Yeah, this is just showing up. That is just embarrassing him. And just paint brushing him on the back of the head. Oh! Applying a hammerlock, snapping the arm. And an Inzaguri taking down the Rad Dad. Oh, take it down! Oh, Rad Dad pulling his, doing his best Samoa Joe and saying, uh, get that flippy shit out of here. Side Russian leg sweep. Hey, here's the thing. That's how you do your best Samoa Joe when somebody goes for a suicide dive. You just say, F it and step out of the way. We're at a count of four and Rad Dad tossed back in. And here we go. The action continues back to the ring. Up, oh, tie up. Oh, ooh, nice knee strike. Has him up. Oh, God. Now Brandon Collins refusing to let up, and he's staying on him. Oh my God! Knee drop to the to the face. Picking him up. Now, Brandon Collins. Oh, Irish whip. Oh, step through. Oh, kick. Now he's. Oh, that was a spear. Now, going for the cover. One, two, and Red Dad kicking out. That was that was a good spear. It actually connected very well. Oh, oh, nope. Well, oh, that's not happening. Now, Rad Dad making his way back in it. Oh. oh. Irish whip off the ropes. Missed that drop kick. Like, here's the thing. You guys are supposed to be professionals. At least limit the botching here. <laughs> oh, now Brandon going... Grounded pound on uh, Rad Dad. Kick to the midsection. As I'm up. Tie up. Oh, oh, ooh. He's strike. Uh, go behind. There's a separate. Star! They're going for the cover. One. Two. Oh. And Brandon kicks out. And rolls out. Oh, we didn't avoid that one. Oh. Actually, Rad Dad hitting that suicide dive with accuracy. Oh, I got. Oh, he's stomping him in the back. Oh! Oh my god! That really just bust him open? Oh my god! Tossing Brandon back in at a count of five, and now we're returning to the ring. Oh, oh! Tossing him down. Oh! Oh! Hook the leg. Oh no! Oh! Slamming his face into the mat. Oh my God! Go over the cover. One, two, three, and Radley Belmont picks up the victory. There we go. We got ourselves a winner.
There's your winner for tonight, Rad Dad Radley Belmont. But we must move on to next matchup. All right, we got Grim taking on Brad Martin one on one. Monsters ambush. Here we go. Actually, we got Brad Martin taking on Second City Saint. Yeah, let's get down to the ring and get this matchup underway. Second City Saint, we haven't seen him in a while. Let's get down to the ring and get this matchup underway. Brad Martin is the 420 champion. Here we go. And Brad Martin making his way down to the ring first. With the championship in hand. The pure hybrid champion. Yeah, Brad Martin has been a proud 420 champion. He's held that title more than anybody on the XWF Mayhem roster. Here comes his opponent for tonight's matchup. This guy could be a contender for that 420 championship. But here's the thing. We are going to see how well he can fare against the champ. Standing on his podium. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit! Yeah, this guy does have a lot of pyro. <laughs> Ugh. Oh yeah, now it's blowing money. Holy shit. Pyro's coming from? I have no idea. Oh, uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Wink! <laughs> One wink and the pyro goes off. That is just phenomenal timing for your entrance. Here. Oh!
Ladies and gentlemen, we just blew our pyro budget for the night. <laughs> But then again, it's well worth it anyway. Just for an extravagant entrance like that, that <laughs> you can't call it extravagant, you know, like is that you can call that entrance a masterpiece. And now Saint and Brad tying up. Ooh! Forearm to the face from Brad Martin. Brad Martin saying, like, I don't need that flashy bullshit to make, uh, make myself, oh, special. All they have to do for me is ring the bell. Even though uh, I just copied an Adam Cole baby promo. <laughs> well, whatever. But then again, Brad Martin just definitely choosing why, what they do to make him special. But here's the thing, like, when you're doing sports entertainment, you gotta do uh, all the pomp and circumstances to make yourself special. You gotta have the, the music. You gotta have the right type of lighting. You gotta have all the fucking pyro and smoke. That's what you gotta do to get over in the sports entertainment climate. You gotta make yourself stand out, and that's what the Second City Saint does. <clears throat> like, he's making himself... Like, he's branding himself as the guy you must see. Even though right now he's not uh, faring too well against Brad Martin in the ring, so... All that pomp and circumstance might be for uh, nothing if you can't pick up the victory. But like I said, you gotta be, be uh, dominant and uh, be flashy. Oh, blockbuster from Brad Martin taking down Second City Saint. Oh my God! Oh! And now Second City Saint gets out of that and turns it around into an Alabama slam. Going for the cover. Brad Martin not weak, and weak enough to get pinned. Now Second City Saint making his... Oh my god! Kick to the face! Right, here's the... Oh, oh my god! Now this is where Second City Saint starts to get back into it. And gets to show off how flashy he is inside the ring. And that was a brain buster. Oh! Wow. Now going for the cover. One, two. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Please and Rana takes Brad Martin down. Oh, we got a Justin. Fight Forever chant going on. Kick to the midsection. Oh, ow. Knees to the back. Slamming him down. Now Second City Saint looks to finish him off. Oh. And Brad Martin proceeded. it. Actually, he just avoided disaster because I'm pretty sure Second City Saint was going to unleash his finisher here. Now Second City Saint using the ropes to get back. Kick to the back of the leg. Now chop. Oh, now continuing to work on that leg. Like, here's the thing. Like, the Second City Saints power comes from his legs. That's how he moves around the ring as, fa as fast as he does. He's as quick as a puma. Oh, wait, that's Ricochet. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Pedigree. I think like this might be over as Brad Martin goes for the cover. One, two. Oh my God! Second City Saint kicking out, staying alive. Brad Martin saying he's number one. 
Now a reversal from Second City Saint. Irish Whip off the ropes. Drop down. Oh! Now Saint. Oh, that was a rope break. BBD with the cor cor correct call. Uh oh. That's just a paintbrush. Oh, clothesline from Saint taking down Brad Martin. Ah, oh, insulting by uh, insulting paintbrush to the face. Oh, we're at a count of three. We don't want this match to end on a count out. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Another tie up. Oh. oh. And now Brad Martin getting out of it. Gotta get back into... Oh! Oh my god! Form to the back of the neck! Brad Martin looking to paralyze. We're on a count of six. Oh! Back to work on the leg. Gotta get back in the ring! Oh! Here we go. Now we're... Brad Martin returns on a count of eight. And he's going to the high rent district. Oh, no. Dollar laid a buck short. Oh, oh. I don't even know what the fuck I just said. The second city saint calling. Oh, oh my God. Oh, flatliner. Now going for the cover. One, two, three. Second City Saint picking up the win, but Brad Martin in disappointment. Oh, oh my God. Lights went out. What the? Oh, it's grim. Oh, shit. Oh, chokes. What? Oh, my God. Grim just choke slamming Grim's Brad Martin straight to hell. Holy shit. Like, he picked. He just took the loss and got choke slammed by his rival. Jesus Christ, that's just adding insult to injury right there. Wow. Well, here's the thing. We have to move on to our next matchup. Glenn Dumont taking on Macho T. Falls count anywhere action. Let's get down to the ring. We have to move on to our next matchup. <laughs> Grim definitely uh, not making himself very favorable to the XWF crowd tonight by hitting uh, Brad Martin with that choke slam. <laughs> but we have to move on, get to our next matchup. We got Glenn Glenn Dumont versus Macho T, and I hit the wrong fucking button on my controller. I was supposed to transition us to the match, not take a fucking screenshot of the match card. Well, here's the thing. Here comes Glenn Dumont making his way down to the ring. For this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Yeah, this guy is a known beast. We go. This is kind of a mishmash of styles. You got a big man taking on a luchador. But here comes Macho T. There we go. Macho T definitely coming down with that Lutino Heat swag. Definitely looking to honor the 
legacy of the late great Eddie Guerrero with this entrance. And here's the thing, like Macho T definitely looks good here in the XWF that he does in uh, the AEW Fight Forever video game. Like the AEW Fight Forever game has uh, dog shit creation suites. Actually, I wouldn't say dog shit. I'd just say it's very bare bones. Very bare bones. But here's the thing, like, this is the real Macho T standing in the ring, and he's gonna take on Glenn Dumont in one on one action. Like, AEW Fight Forever has the bootleg Macho T. This is the real Macho T. But here we go. Knee to the face. Like, Glenn Dumont really taking it to Macho T right now. You got a house sticking out a Ludador. Oh my god, Snapmare Driver. Macho T trying to get back into the match. Him up. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, Snake Eyes again! Glenn Dumont continuing to. But here's the thing, like, Macho T also definitely trying to fight back into Ripcord Lariat from the underdog Macho T. Macho T also looking to earn his way into number one uh, contendership contention. Oh, oh my god, he's raining down elbow on Glenn Dumont, the former prisoner turned uh turned jacked up uh street fight street brawler now here's the thing like macho t just driving into him like here's the thing like uh what turned uh, glenn dumont into this is the same chemicals that uh created bane uh, oh! Top rope leg drop to Glenn Dumont. Like, here's the thing. Macho T's going to have to use a lot of that unorthodox uh, dox, uh, offense to really break down Glenn Dumont. Oh, my God. Oh, right! Power slam takes down Macho T. Now he's going for the cover. One, two, three. Glenn Dumont making short work out of Macho T. Yeah, that victory pretty much proves that he is unbreakable. But now, we must move on to the most demonic matchup in here on XWF Mayhem. We've seen this, you've seen this match before at RGW Spring Break-In, where Competitors Claire Groff and Pandy competed inside this very cage. But now, we got Aiden Black and XWF World Champion Mr. Groff stepping into this demonic structure. And this demonic structure is made out of rusted scrap metal. So yeah, if you want to compete in this matchup... You don't have to at least get uh, get your tetanus shot, get a updated tetanus booster, or if you're a demonic entity like Mr. Groff, you don't never need one. Get a fucking demon. But here comes Aiden Black down to the ring. 
brand, different attire. He's using his all his second attire here tonight. And now Aiden Black making his way down to the ring. But both these men are looking to step into a brutally demonic structure. There is no pinfalls. No submissions. You can't win. You can't either win by escaping the cage. You have to knock your opponent out cold. But here we go. Aiden Black being the first to make his way down to the ring for this brutally unorthodox and demonic matchup. But then again, like, we chose this match because this match is the only way to keep that demonic psychopath, Mr. Groff, in it, locked in. This is the only way to keep that demonic psychopath isolated from the rest of the XWF universe. And here's the thing, and I'm pretty sure Aiden Black would definitely want to get some revenge off of losing to this demon last week on XWF Mayhem. But both these men will be inside that demonic structure. And uh, speaking of this demonic psychopath, here he comes, making his way down to the ring. There he is, the XWF wor Hardcore World Champion. The demonic psychopath, the evil doctor himself, Mr. Groff. Like we have to come up with a, we have to come up with some of the weirdest and creative ways to at least keep this guy confined to a ring. And here's the thing, like this is the second week in the road that these two monsters are battling battling in one on one action. We had to come up with this match that would keep them locked inside the ring. Like we already know that our current champion is a demonic psychopath because look at what he did to the XWF founder ringmaster Mike Groff. Like he just slammed him down to the floor down to the mat at X Mania 9 locked in that uh, mandible claw knocked him out cold and he's been in a coma ever since and this demonic psychopath is continuing to stand around carrying that championship And here's the thing, is there anybody that would be able to take that title from him? I don't think there's any mortal person that can take that title from him. But anyway, let's get this matchup underway. And bring that cage down. This is rusted scrap metal. Here we go! And now both these men tying off. And now Mr. Groff putting Aiden Black against the ropes. Irish whip! Oh, and a crossbody! Like, here's the thing. Like, there is no referee in the match because who the fuck would fuck in their right mind would be locked inside this cage with these two monsters? You have to be some special kind of nuts 
to be locked inside this structure with these two big behemoths. Now Mr. Groff turning the tables on Aiden Black. Oh, clubbing blow to the back. Oh, tie up Irish with Oh, caught over into into a headlock. Oh my. Not just channeling the crowd's energy. It's just taking some time to de think like you're a dastardly demon. Uh. Oh, here we go. Up oh, off the rope. He ducked it. Oh, now Mr. Groff applying some damage on Aiden Black. Now we got a tie up. Oh, Yanagi in the middle of the ring. Oh my god, and now he's choking the life out of him. That's kind of okay in this match because there are no rules. This is just a steel cage where the only way to win is to knock your opponent out cold. Oh no. Now Aiden Black getting back into it. Aiden Black looking to uh, pick up a victory. Oh! Now Mr. Groff going in on him. Oh no! Oh! Oh, he saw that coming. Aiden Black choking the life out of the, the champion, headbutt, knocking him down and into a senton! Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Snake eyes into the top turn buckle! Can Aiden Black find a way to defeat this? Oh my god! Oh! Oh no! And the second time we had a lights out spot and a go behind! And now Mr. Groff going right in! Oh, neck inverted DDT Scorpion Death, death Drop esque and a clothesline! Two clotheslines! Three from Aiden Black as he's trying to get back into this! And a giant body splash into the corner! Oh! oh! Oh my god, Aiden Black definitely fighting his way back into this matchup. Has him up! Oh! oh, gut buster! Two months. Oh my god! Oh. That was a reversal. Looked like he was trying to choke this monster out. Ooh, we got reversals. Oh my god, Irish whip into the corner! Oh, body splash! Oh, oh, oh. Ducked it! Oh my god! Oh, he said, follow the buzzers. Mr. Groff on retreat. It's the first time we've seen the champion in this type of trouble. Oh. Oh! Oh my god, the, the monster does bleed! He made Mr. Groff bleed his own blood! Now a headlock takeover! Now Mr. Groff fighting his back! There is some type of humanity in this monster! Because Aiden Black made it bleed! Oh! Oh my god! Planning them with a DT. Oh my god. And a headbutt. Taking down Aiden Black. Oh, kick to the midsection. He has a ball. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. That's right. Oh my god. Oh, the manable claw. He's got it locked in. Oh my god. And it's over. Oh my god. And Mr. Groff picking up the win in the most demonic match here in the Extreme Wrestling Federation. Oh my god. I guess that's what happens.
when you make the monster bleed his own blood. Oh my god. He's just turning around and looking at the devastation that he's committed. And then he... He, uh... Caused inside that steel structure. Yeah. Mr. Groff has been on a tear here on XWF Mayhem. But we have to move on. But here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for our main event of the evening. XWF. United States of Anarchy champion taking on Vulgar the Clown. Oh, here we, we got this again? Here's the thing. Let's get down to the ring and get our main event underway. The United States of Anarchy champion taking on a very unorthodox opponent because we all know, like, this guy is. Very bizarre. Like, this guy does a lot of weird, kinky shit in his locker room. Uh-oh. Oh, Gravity Well coming out from the crowd. And just blindslides the kinky clown known as Vulgar. Referee BDD ringing the bell. Now Vulgar going in on Gravity Well. Like, I'm pretty sure we know Vulgar the Clown has to be furious up after that blindside attack. So that's why he's going in on Gravity Well like he is now. Like, he may be very uh, kinky and unorthodox in his personal life. But inside this ring, he is very competitive, and he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with almost anybody. Ask uh, Pickle Boy, ask Jungle Jim Wilder, and now he's got the Boston Crab locked in on Gravity Well. Can Gravity, and Gravity Well fighting his way out of that submission predicament. And here's the thing, like, both these competitors definitely have a hard time following the last matchup between the two monsters on this, uh, roster. But, <laughs> holy shit. Holy shit, that was a very brutal steel cage match. But here's the thing, if anybody can, uh, possibly try to follow that up, it would be these two, because these two could definitely put on a very decent wrestling match. And they're both going outside of the ring, which, hey, the two monsters couldn't do in the last match. But here's the thing. It's a good thing we had a steel cage for that match, because, hey, best thing to do with two monsters, put them in a fucking cage. Hey, let them fight each other while the entire public is kept safe. But here's the thing, like, the one monster ends up being defeated while there's still another monster that's on, on the run. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the public is not that safe, but they're a little safer now that one monster got taken care of. And now, Vulgar and Gravity Well make their way back into the ring, and a springboard lariat taking down Gravity Well. But whatever. Stiff punch from the kinky clown. Has him up. Oh! Slammed him down on the mat. Face first. And kip up from Gravity Well. And now he's got his comeback underway. Oh! Oh, what's he doing? Oh! Body splash to the spine! Gravity Well pick up a little famouser! Now he's going for the cover! 
One, two, three, and Gravity Well picks up the victory after he attacked his opponent from behind from the crowd. Wait, like, here's the fucked up part. Like, both the people who did that same attack from behind here tonight picked up the victory. Kind of proves if you're going to do dog shit like that. Hey. You don't get your comeuppance, so that kind of fucking sucks. But, whatever. Gravity Well picking up the victory, proving that he is a superior competitor inside the XWF. Vulgar the Clown left to possibly go back to the locker room and pick up the pieces. And that brings us to the end of another episode of of XWF Mayhem. So, this is MJG from the signing off from the XWF Command Center. Peace the fuck out.